hey guys welcome back to a brand new video my name is kathy if you're new here for today's video i'm gonna be doing a newborn essentials i remember i used to watch these religiously when i was pregnant and i was always like okay when i have my baby like i'm gonna film this and i'm gonna do my own take on it and here i am i want to do one from three to six months ezra actually just hit six months a few weeks ago so i'm really excited about that but i did want to get the zero to three months out of the way and actually give y'all some essentials that are practical and that you'll actually need when you have a baby obviously every baby is different and this doesn't apply to every baby but i did want to share what my baby ezra likes right here beside me if you hear him i was trying to film this all day today while he was napping but he did not want to go down for a long nap so here we are these are in no particular order but these are like my absolute essentials that got me through the first three months of his life let's get started so the first thing that you're obviously going to need is where baby's going to sleep you're going to need a bedside bassinet i was given one i was given the ingenuity bedside bassinet so i didn't have to go and purchase one i'll put a picture of it of course i did not have to go out and buy one you don't need like an extravagant i wanted i think there was like a moses basket bedside bassinet i wanted that but like when you're going through it like you don't need all that stuff like you just need someone where baby can sleep because they're not going to sleep there permanently he lasted in his bedside bassinet for till five months and i moved into his own room also too i wish someone would have told me because i was in such a nesting like mode that i wanted to get his room done like so fast i wish someone would have told me like he's not even gonna sleep in it till like he's five months old i would have had five months to like work on it maybe when he was born i wish someone would have told me that there's like no rush to get the room done but you do need a bassinet if i could like recommend a bassinet one that can become level to your bed because i just remember the ingenuity was lower getting down and having to pick up a newborn baby and also too like you can't just pick them up like this like you gotta pick up their head and stuff like that i just remember it like oh my gosh i just remember being so inconvenient if i had to like redo everything all over again and i had to purchase one i would purchase one that would be flush to my bed so that it's like super convenient to just take them out you can like literally latch them if you're breastfeeding like super convenient that's what i would recommend but you're gonna need a bedside bassinet i had a bedside cart you've probably seen them on pinterest and stuff like that i will put a picture it's literally still beside my bed i haven't figured out what to do with it yet but this bedside cart was my saving grade when he was a newborn because it was right beside my bed it had everything it needed it had diapers cream even snacks for me it had all the stuff that he needed i don't know what i would have done i don't know where everything would have been but you need one i've heard people say they don't need it they didn't use it like you're not going to use it if you don't put practical things in it put practical things in it that you're going to grab that you're going to use during night changings night feeding put things in it that's going to get you through the night so that you don't have to get up and go grab stuff i loved it so moving on to the next thing hi next thing i have is also i'm gonna link everything and my link to know it down below or my amazon storefront if you want to purchase it i'm gonna always tell y'all go purchase secondhand go look on facebook market go to once upon a child because you could probably find it there for cheaper but if you like everything brand new whatever floats your boat i have this snuggle me organic he slept in this so much i love this i really wanted it when i was pregnant and i remember putting it on my registry and it was so expensive brand new and i was like if someone doesn't get it for me i'm not gonna buy it because it's so expensive um i ended up getting this on facebook market for 20 bucks he loved it so much because it has like no cushion in the middle so when they would lay in the middle he would just like sink in and these edges would wrap around him i love this color it's like unisex i have um, a baby girl next i would recommend this a thousand times i have the docketant now and i would love to give you my take on that like i said i'm gonna do my three to six months essentials but this is zero to three so we're just gonna talk about this i think this stuff organics more for infants he slept in this so much you obviously have to supervise your baby if they're sleeping anything but a flat mattress i could sit on the couch and put this right next to me i could lay on my bed and put this right next to me moving on my breast friend pillow so i breastfeed obviously so basically um it has this clip right here and you open it and you wrap it around you and then you clip it and then you can move it and on the pillow it has like i don't know if you can see it but it has like these lumps right here 
and basically it's like a little raise where you can put the baby like lay the baby and help them feed and you could like lay him like this on top of the pillow obviously now he's big and i still breastfeed but you get it down after a while but that helps so much when you're learning how to breastfeed but it helps because it gets them like literally right to your breast i remember i used this for so many night feedings i used this in the hospital i love this pillow i picked this one over the boppy because i just heard better things about this in the boppy he was so little i could just lay him on it and he would just stay on my boob it was perfect i loved it 100 recommend my breastfed pillow i purchased this from once upon a child for a fraction of retail price um the next thing that i swear by are these hakas i loved my hakas they're only like 12 bucks on amazon when you first start breastfeeding and your milk doesn't regulate even like now you'll have a little bit of leaking but it's nothing near into when you first start breastfeeding you have a lot leaking and i remember i would feed him on one all you have to do is push this in squeeze it pull it back and then you would put it on your boob essentially and then do that and it would be suctioned onto your boob and from these i've collected so much milk that's how i made my whole freezer stash. i've only pumped probably two times the whole six months that i've been breastfeeding i plan on breastfeeding to a year a year and a half i don't know i'm gonna hope he self weans but we'll see um i also want to do a video on like breastfeeding and stuff like that and how i've been successful in it and any tips and tricks and all kinds of stuff and then i also want to do like a what i eat it in a day as a breastfeeding mom let me know if you are interested in that like i was saying this is what made me build up my freezer stash i swear by these you have to get these if you're planning on breastfeeding and building a stash it's a must um and i would recommend getting more than one because when you fill up one i just remember being so like tired in the middle of the night i would give it to Aaron. i'd be like here he'd go put it in the fridge on the door and i would just have the other one because you do multiple night feedings when they're so little i remember i would just put on the other one the next time he would wake up honestly if you could purchase like four of these purchase four of these but i swear by these get the haka 100 percent next i have is changing mats i would always use these but i love these ones these were the ava and oliver ones i got these on amazon they're actually some leather changing mats i don't think you need like a designated changing pad where you change your baby because you're gonna have to go wherever that changing pad is every day during every change you're gonna have to go there so i would put these in my diaper caddy wherever i had to change them I would whip it out, lay it on the couch, lay it on the bed, lay it on the floor, lay it wherever I gotta lay it and just change them on top of it. These were purchased from Amazon. Also, I recommend making your registry on Amazon because you get like a 20% off discount after my baby shower and stuff like that and I had to purchase whatever wasn't purchased. So I purchased everything during Prime Day, added it to my cart from my registry, already got the registry discount and got the prime day the deals that were on prime day it was a good bargain that i got them for basically is what i'm trying to say and i will link them down below like i said on my storefront but i love these leather changing pads I have the organic mama diaper cream and aquaphor so you're gonna need diaper cream diaper balm whatever you want to call it i swore by the aquaphor and i swore by the organic mama I'm a diaper bomb and these were amazing i love these i still use these to this day these are the ones that i like the most okay you're gonna need a swing i got the snugga puppy swing from fisher price i'll put a picture right here it's really big um, i got it as a baby shower gift to zero to three months range he loved this swing he would go to sleep in it um, I could sit in the living room and watch him in the swing and he would just swing and he loved it. He would sleep in it all the time. Next that I have is zip up newborn onesies. Everyone told me don't get a lot of newborn clothes and I wish I didn't listen because he stayed in newborn clothes for two months. I do have some onesies that I did want to show you. The ones that I wanted to show you are actually in the dirty laundry but i will insert a picture of him in them these are from old navy and they are so good they're so stretchy i love them they're so cute they come in all kinds of colors those are my favorite on him i never used kite baby i never used all like, the hyped brands I'm nothing against them this one's also from old navy this little bear one i love these because they have two zippers like if you had to do a diaper change you wouldn't have to totally undress them you would just have to go up on the zipper and you could change him and then obviously if you wanted to take it completely off you would just use this zipper and then this one's from target target actually just released a line of like some buttery soft ones i've heard they're a kite baby dupe but they're from the brand cloud island too i felt them at the store and they're super nice so even those i would recommend i like the target ones too because one zipper you know when you put it on it goes down and then you just pull it up zip it up and then just change them 
and zip it down and then if you have to take it off you would just completely unzip it i swear by onesies he wears onesies all the time it's the most used clothing item get a handful of newborn i wish i didn't listen to everyone they were like don't get a lot of newborn clothes and he was in newborn clothes until he was like two months so definitely get a few newborn size onesies and make sure they're two a onesies they're so easy they're so convenient i also loved the burt's bee onesies i love those i love the little bees on the feet get your baby some okay next um is a diaper caddy i love this I scrub by this also. So convenient. I have one in my living room. I put one in my bedside cart. It has diapers, it has creams, it has hairbrushes in it. It has a nail filer. If I need diapers, I can just take it anywhere. I have one in the living room. I have one in my room. I have one in his room. I love these. It makes it so convenient. And probably need another one to put it in my car. I love these diaper caddies. You're gonna need diaper caddies. You'll probably need more than one. One in your bedroom, one in the living room. If you can only get one, get one, fill it up have it between going your bedroom and the living room. It's the best thing ever. Okay, next thing is a bouncer. I will put a picture of it up. It's the Ingenuity bouncer. I received it from my registry, but you're gonna need a bouncer because when you need to take a shower, where are you gonna put the baby? You're gonna put the baby in a bouncer. And I remember I would take a shower, I would just lay him in there, buckle him up, and he would fall asleep in there. I don't think you really need a specific one as long as it does a little bit of bouncing motion but this is the one that i got so a passy so obviously this applicable only to certain people if you're gonna choose to use a passy or not he did use a passy nipple confusion is not a thing i learned from my lactation consultant i got these orthodontic pacifiers he loved them this is what they look like he used this one and then he used this one they're both like the same brand they're from like ortho piggy i will link them down below he actually weaned himself from the passy like i can give it to him and he'll just play with it and put it in his mouth but he weaned himself when he was like five months something switched in his mind and he no longer wanted a passy but these are the ones that i used they honestly were saving grace for those first few months of his life because if he was crying in a store and i just had a pop it in his mouth he would stop and i loved passies i would definitely 100 percent do these they also help prevent sids so if you're thinking about getting a passy then honestly like i would 100 percent do it again like i said so get a few i got the frig he didn't like the frigs um i'll still link him down below because like i said every baby's different every baby likes different things but he liked these ortho piggy ones and like i said i'll link them down below they're good for like their mouth development even though he doesn't use it anymore i love these and yeah so um next is a baby bath thermometer this is the one that we used when they're so little you're like i hope the water's just right and this so you don't have to think about that you just turn it on and if the water is good it's going to be green if it's too hot it's going to be red so i love this one it's like five dollars from target i'll link it down below like i said um the next thing that i loved was the nose frida everyone raves about it i'm not going to stay too long on it you just suck it put it in their nose and they'll suck all the boogers out there's a filter in it so it's not going to get in your mouth but he actually got the flu. He did have some congestion and I love this thing. I still love this thing and I still use it because it's so easy. But you're going to need a nose frida. They're inexpensive and they're just so convenient. The next thing that I swear by and I still use it to this day is the baby Catan. I got a sling and the sling was kind of had a learning curve and it was hard to use. Baby Catan, so easy. But I swear by this baby Catan. It's the easiest wrap that I found. He loves it. He would sleep in it. He, we would go on walks and he would just be wrapped up next to me. I remember I would take him out of this and he would literally cry. But I 100% recommend this baby Catan. There's like a demonstration picture. I'll put it up. It's so easy to put on. It's like the same as a wrap. I love this. I swear by it. This is the easiest wrap that I found. I'm telling you guys. Maybe I'll learn the sling when he gets a little older. But this, the Baby Catan, 100% recommend. You're going to need a wrap. Next thing is some black and white contrast books. This one's from Love Every. This one's just one on Amazon. I'll link them down below. Babies can only see black and white when they're first born. So this is how you get their attention. This is how you get their eye coordination working. Um, I would lay him down on a blanket and I would set these up in front of him. And he would just stare at him for hours. I love these. You're going to need some black and white contrast books. They're the best. The next thing you're going to need is a car mirror. It's obviously my car. Um, I don't think you need a car camera. There's too many wires. I don't, I'm not down for all that. 
car mirror super convenient you angle your rear view mirror towards the car mirror and you can see your baby I will put a link to the one I have. You can use any of them. And the next thing that I have is Mustela water. I swear by this. He had baby acne two weeks into him being born. And obviously, it's totally normal. But it's normal to be like, why does my baby have that? Like, I don't want that on my baby's face. I would put Mustela water on him every night. And um, it went away after three days. I love this stuff. So you can see it's very well used. I purchased it at Target. Definitely recommend use some Mustela water. I remember I had to clear it up because we were taking newborn pictures and I was like, I can't have my baby with baby acne. So I use this and it cleared up within three days. I'm not even kidding you. The next thing that I have is this Angel Care baby bath. Super easy. It's super easy. It grows with them. They can just lean in it. It's super light. You can prop it up, hang it up. It can be out of the way. I, I can't get down with big bathtubs. I really can't. They take up so much room. They're heavy. They're bulky. This one's super light. I purchased this one at Once Upon a Child for like eight bucks, honestly, and I love that. I would not recommend like the big bathtubs and stuff like that. It's just too much. Also, get a humidifier. I got his at Walmart. Like I said, he got the flu. I didn't have a humidifier. I purchased it at Walmart. I loved it. Well, you know, God forbid, but babies get sick. Babies get germs and stuff like that. Um, it helps to just loosen up all that mucus. So get a humidifier. And then last but not least is get a travel system. I got the Evenflow travel system. For my siblings actually purchased it for me, which I'm so grateful for. I will put a picture of it right here it's like in a neutral tone so i can use it for both girl and boy i love it i was gifted the maxi cozy one the whole travel system and it was not easy to use i preferred my even flow one and i love it i he still uses it those are all my essentials that i highly recommend if you have a baby like i said i will link everything down below we have my amazon storefront my link to know it it's obviously everything is different for each baby if you um formula feed and stuff like that so i didn't have to use like no baby brezza or like a lot of sterilizers and stuff but everything is different for each and every baby thank you for watching guys i hope that you all have a blessed one and i hope that we'll see you in future videos and also if you have any requests make sure to leave them down below bye guys bye